And Sonal is the first lady master of wine in India. And one of the few ladies master of wine around the world has really triggered an enormous interest from around the world to India. So Sonal, you've helped dramatically the Indian culture abroad, Indian restaurant to flourish, and Indian winemakers to make great wines in India. Pleasure to see you. Oh, Chantal, how are you? You're looking fabulous. And so are you. Look at you. You are. You look like you're sitting in a castle, in well, India. But I want to make sure we 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 mention to our viewers uh, how lucky we are indeed to be in the presence of Jean Charles Boisset, the proprietor and owner of a a huge wine empire with prestigious wineries spread across France. Uh, California and Canada even and basically he's here to talk all about um, everything that he sees wine as which is grand passion uh, charismatic uh, and you as a Frenchman who has such a huge multi-million dollar business wine business all around the world comes to India sees the soil you know speaks to the people feels the vibe and instantly feels that India has an opportunity on the global wine map I want to really understand what clicked, what was that moment of epiphany? What, what about the soil or not even about the soil, but what made you feel India has a chance? Because the truth is, very truthfully speaking, apart from a few wins here and there, India still is nowhere on the wine map, right? We still have miles to go before we sort of, you know, get there. We have pockets of excellence. And I know one of the pockets of excellence we're going to taste now in a, in a few minutes. But I want to, I want to know intuitively, how you feel about India and why you believe India has a, has a chance on the world stage? Well, I feel about India, one, is a very amazing, diverse country. One of the most amazing country on earth from its diversity of region, climate, culture, agriculture, viticulture, taste and color. So India is diverse. Two, the people are phenomenal. I fell in love with Indian people when I was at school in the UK, in fact, and I made a lot of friends that I still have today. Indian people are very clever. They really understand the senses. They have great emotion. They have great sensory. And they have, you know, a great of life. So I knew from the people themselves, there's a great chance. Third, Indian people are humble, willing to learn, and really willing to open their, their mind. With your school that you just started, everybody should take the course, and everybody should be part of your wine club, so they learn more about wine, because... Indian people learn fast. That was the third component. The fourth, Maranashta, you know, in Akluj, is an amazing place. What Kapil Sekri has started with Fratelli and what we started with Jainun, we knew from the soil, the plant, and the right materials in the vineyard, it was where to do it. So when you put all those ingredients together, one of the most amazing countries in the world, one of the most aspirational and inspirational country in the world, one of the most philosophical place on the planet, we as French people perceive India as the pacifist, the fathers and mothers of peace. We not only view India that way through the eye of Gandhi and what has happened since 1947, but way before, and even the schools of thoughts of India. So I really believe when you have all those ingredients, you can only make great wines. And more importantly, life is not just about economics and return. Life yeah. is to have passion, to create magnetism in people's body and mind to enlighten them as you are because you're the first master of wine lady as a lady in India and I think this is a great inspiration for so many around the planet and I really believe, you know so now your food is incredible when there's great food there's obviously great wine thank you I you know when you put it like that I often think oh my god why do why don't more people get this because you just put it in a way that is um, so easy to understand and, and seems so unrefutable and such a, you know, sort of a no-brainer. But what fascinates me is that it takes someone from outside to see this potential than okay. from someone within. So I want to understand from you, because India is really grappling with, with appreciating its own wines. I mean, the truth is. Um, and India has, of course, struggled. I have to say, I, you know, I've personally been tasting Indian wines now for a few years. And up until a few years ago, there was a real problem with quality or being trying to create clean wines. And 
Yes. But today, I think as more and more wines are coming out there that are being made better, with more better technological improvement, with better attention to detail at the winery, they're also winning competition, uh, you know, awards at competitions, both globally and within India. But there's still a lot of consumer resistance in yes. accepting and adopting these wines. Is this something you witnessed in, in America as well? Because I just find Americans went so bullish on their own wines and that must have helped the industry, right? So, well, so now, India exists for many, many thousands of years. Has right. been an innovation on so many fronts and on so many products. Not only technology, not only health, not only, you know, inventions, not only agriculture, not only beautiful herbs, beautiful teas, and so many things. Yes. We've been wine in Burgundy for 2,000 years. We've been making many parts of the world for four, five, 6,500 years. America has made wine since 1857, since Buena Vista Winery started in a very charismatic way. So, you know, there's the proof of time. India is starting in a great way. Our very good friend Rajiv at Sula has done a great job. Our friend at Grove has done a great job. Castile, of course, is incredible at what he's doing with Fratelli and Genun. It takes you as an example to start your wine club, Soho Wine Club, that everybody should be part of. It makes you 60 minutes of wine, classes to educate people. It's going to take some time. You need a, a confluence of one, greater wines, which is happening, and nothing can happen overnight, but I think People are committed in India to make great wines, which is great. It's a wonderful start. And two, the consumers need as well to be proud to drink their own wine. And I would tell you, so now, I've noticed that a lot of India, and it was the same in the United States 40 years ago when I first came here. People need to be proud of their own products. And I think it will happen. It finally happened in Napa Valley and Sonoma, where people are saying, we're proud of what we make. This is as good as Burgundy, as good as Bordeaux, as good as in Italy. The yeah. moment Indian people, and I say that to all my friends in India, open Genun, open those great bottles of wine, dare be audacious, show the colors of India, because India has the best colors in the world. Showcase India and people will go there. Wow. Look at that. I have it with me too for you. So we are a few thousand miles away, needless to say more than that. And I'm in Napa Valley today, and I'm tasting a very important moment. So now, this is July 4th, in a few hours here, in yes. Japan, 1776. This wine was actually made in India to recognize, and I'm a big believer of countries, auto-determination themselves. And when India, in that famous month of August, 1947, declared independence and autodetermination was a fabulous day. So, so I want to see the bottle. It's called the JCV 47. Sorry, that's a mirror image, but you, you get that. Um, no. that. That's an Indian one, guys. That's been produced in Akluj uh, near Solapur by the, by, uh, through a collaboration which Fratelli Vineyards has, uh, which is one of the India's leading producer, with our very own Jean-Charles Boisset. My view was to make a wine which was very passionate, a wine philosophical, a wine which was inspirational, and a wine which was very united in its flavor profile. Why united? Because 47 represents the united of India. The unity, the absolutely, yeah. Great. yeah. We wanted all of you from India, all your viewers and all our friends, to open this bottle to celebrate the moments of their life and to be proud of it. So the goal, first and foremost, was to make something on the international scale that people would love. And I need to tell you, so now we sell it in the US, we sell it in France, we sell it in the UK. I believe in, so. Which are not only in from. So people are very interested in that. Number two, we wanted to be like you as the leading woman of wine in India, irreverent, incorrigible. We wanted to be an entrepreneur by blending two great varieties that are the most unexpected. Yes. Chardonnay, my life, you know, you cut my arm, it's not blood, it's Chardonnay here coming out. I was born making Chardonnay, sure. and side is Sauvignon Blanc, which India does so well. So we took Chardonnay from India, 
Sauvignon Blanc from India, which is very herbaceous, beautiful floral characteristics. Put it together, which I could never do in France. We're not allowed. And Correct. we create an explosion that represents all the chakras aligned. As you know, I love to do martial arts. And one of my passions is to try to align my chakra, which I rarely succeed. And from the root to the third eye, I think this wine enlightened them all. Wow, so this one really opens up all your chakras then. That's fantastic. And today being with you, so now feeling your energy, I'm feeling lighter, more spiritual, and more inspired. I love it. And I want everyone to hear it from me because the Masters of Wine is the most difficult exam in the world possible. When I met Sonal the first time, you know, very big in sales, Fortune 500 companies, very successful woman, leaves everything for her dream, buys a plane ticket to London, supported luckily by her family in many ways, mainly morally, and she starts to go to wine and, and follow her passion. That's very merited. For me, Sono, it's not as glamorous as you because I've done the obvious. Born in Vujo, in the highest, most unique, high-profile place in Burgundy. I'm born in the vineyards, so I really did the obvious. The most unique of the two today is you, who's done the unexpected. Thank you. You're very, very kind. I really mean it. By the way, can I just say this, this packaging, I mean, not packaging, but this, this way of printing the name is just so slick. It's so elegant. The first time Kapil sent me over these bottles back, back when it was launched, I thought, wow. I mean, it, it was so cool. And then I realized that all your bottles, uh, you, you know, the J. By the way, guys, I want you to have a look at this label. Have you seen anything like it before? Because I haven't. I mean, just look at that. There are, there's, there's, this is JCB Passion. And that's because there's passion written here. But apart from passion, there's so much. There's seductive, charismatic, sensual, luscious, flamboyant, elegant, opulent. I mean, this is incredible. Look at this. And it's all, you know, it's all seamless. You can't so feel it. What, I mean, we've tasted the sparkling wine. It's a, it's a lovely blend of Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc. I'm wondering Beautiful floral. And I will let Sono, she's the master of wine. I'm not. I just helped to make the wine here. I love the combination, so now because I love spice food. Yes. Of all the flavors of India. And you know, French food as well today is very influenced by India. Same as food in the US. Yeah. This is And I'm flamboyantly excited because there's no blend like this in the world of wine. Chardonnay. Yeah. So tell us what you think. So to me, the, the most interesting part is the fact that it's so unique. And yet it kind of really works. Uh, so that tells me that you've attempted something successfully that nobody else in the world has before. Uh, what, what stands out in this wine to me is that, yes, I know that there's a Chardonnay and there's a Sauvignon Blanc. But when I taste it, it is so well integrated and it's so harmonious and so well balanced that they don't stand apart. Uh, yet I can see how the, the, the richness and the smoothness of the Chardonnay, uh, when combined with the freshness and the herbaceous, you know, the little bit of the herbaceous edge and the aromatic lift of a Sauvignon Blanc is sort of combining together in this glass and coming through quite nicely. And then, of course, there is some oak as well, which is adding a toasty, buttery note to the wine. So it's quite a rich, opulent wine overall. It's not a shy wine, but yet underlying right at, at the core, there's a there's a linearity because there's a lot of freshness to the wine. So what I mean is there's quite a lot of acidity in the wine. It's not a flat wine. It's quite an uplifting wine. So there's got a lot of mouth-watering quality to the wine. But yet, on the surface, it's rich, it's expressive, it's opulent, it's, it's extravagant. So it's kind of, you know, in many ways, uh, Jean Charles, it kind of reminds me of you. You have your roots in France, which is more leaning towards, you know, savory, uh, understated, restrained, and yet with your soul and your wings up in the sky, the Californian, the larger than life way, which is, you know, not shy, not, you know, extravagant and, and expressive and generous more than anything. I, I hope we're recording because I want to replay this forever. This was the best explanation I could ever get. So I, I fully agree with you and, and blending the idea of bringing the worlds in general and the opulence of India, the radiation of India and the energy of India is right here. And thank you for saying it so well. Everybody should know that uh, one of my first unbelievable moments 
in India was in Sonal and Andrew's home with her beautiful daughter, Rihanna. And Sonal had a big party, you know, probably a hundred people in her magnificent house. And we tasted some wines. We had incredible food. We met amazing people. And many of you are maybe listening with us today and are, have become friends. I think it was a nice evening. We had a great time and we danced as well at the end of the evening, didn't we? It seems like all your parties always end with dancing. Well, we got to move. We got to get, we got to get the groove, which is, you know, so now, and I would say that to you, to all our friends from India listening, realize you represent an amazing country. You represent an amazing culture. Be very proud of it and be like Sonal. Sonal has opened all of us eyes in Europe. I'm obviously from Europe originally and the US into India. And Sonal is the first lady master of wine in India. And one of the few ladies master of wine around the world has really triggered an enormous interest from around the world to India. So Sonal, you've helped dramatically the Indian culture abroad, Indian restaurant to flourish, and Indian winemakers to make great wines in India. I would recommend for everybody, buy some wine from Sonal, open the cork, unscrew the cap if it's a screw cap, and play and know that it's subjective. It's all about you, what you like. It's not about us telling you what you should like. Joe Charles, you are so amazing. And if you're standing for the presidential elections or the prime minister position, you have my vote. This wonderful necklace I'm wearing, this actually it's a brooch, come necklace, is also designed by our very own JCB, fondly known as JCB. Um, and how wonderful is this? So you uh, gave me this the first time you met me and we didn't even know each other that well. Uh, and you just let me have it. And it's one of my favorite, favorite pieces. Uh, of jewelry and I wear it so often. I'm, I'm touched that you're wearing it and you know why I gave you this one? Because you're very solar. And so now, needless to say from the name, is very solar in a way that she radiates and in the way that she inspires, in the way that she's the light to many of us. So I couldn't think of a better piece of jewelry that I created, which represents the sun. In the middle is the moon which is the interaction with the sun, you know, the lunar cycle, the solar cycle. And the sapphire in the middle really represents the multiple planets, including Earth, that we're very lucky to enjoy. So, and you friends of Sonal, if you come to France, if you come to California, come and visit us at our wineries. Our friends Sonal and every of your friends Sonal are our friends. And make sure we'll make all of you our VIP guests and come and enjoy, and enjoy the wines with us. And by the way, when he says that, he totally means it. I know of so many winemakers who would just say that, but if there's one person in the world who will make it happen, it's Josh Osborne. Whatever it is that he says, he lives up to it, and he absolutely, he doesn't deliver, he over-delivers. So that's one thing I can say about Josh Osborne. Thank you so much for being part of this, and, and I'm joining me today. So now, thank you so much. And I'm so glad Kapil Sekri was with us as well. I could see him flashing some hearts. And so now, to you, inspirational woman. To you. To you. Carla, to you. Really to you. Honestly. And what a pleasure and what an honor. Thank you so very much. See you very soon. And please keep coming to India.